stop the presses. Today on Ramonda's show, I have the very beautiful, multi-talented guest here with me, and her name is Miss Jonez Kane. Thank you for having me, Ramonda. No, I appreciate the beautiful introduction. Oh no, the pleasure is all mine, <laughs> and you know you deserve it. You are a busy lady. I haven't seen you in a while, but I've been keeping up with you. I have, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know, um, I have to share this before I let her give her introduction. We met back in what year was that? Uh, 2009. 2009, on a movie set, mm -hmm. um, which she did fabulous in. It was my first movie. I no, my second movie, I believe. My first. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we, we befriended one another, and we were talking, and I told her how much I wanted to have a talk show, and she said that she wanted to be in actress and we're both <laughs> we both spoke it and god blessed us isn't Amen. he amazing i know <laughs> so when she told when i saw her uh she interviewed one of the producers i worked with and i said oh my god she did it <laughs> <laughs> michael yeah. michael right <laughs> okay so jonez would you please be so kind to give a brief introduction to those who may not know you my name is jonez kane and i'm an actress songwriter new artist i have a gospel r b ep dropping in July or August of this year, 2013. Um, I also do some casting on independent films. And I'm just, I'm loving how God is just placing things in my life. He's blessing me without me even, I'm not gonna say work hard, cause I work really hard, mm -hmm. but it's so many by chance things, so. Absolutely, he's True so miracles. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, too bad we don't have a shoe cam because, uh, this lady right here is rocking some <laughs> hot shoes. Oh my God, you have to just, I know you can raise a leg up and let them see the shoes. <laughs> Courtesy I, on the runway. <laughs> I model for them. That's a boutique here in Oakland. Nice, I love them, I love them. Now, let's talk about your career. You've been so busy and there's a lot of good things going on with you. Um, wow, you had, you started, I understand, at a very young age with acting. How did it come yeah. about? Well, you know, my mom always said a, a idle mind is the devil's playground or a workshop. Mm -hmm. And so from since I can remember, she would put me in programs um, where I would dance, do drill team, just do everything in the arts. And so I really appreciate her and my grandmother for that. Right. So was there a particular actress on the screen when you were growing up that you said, oh, I want to be like her and you mimic? <sighs> yourself after yes who is that i love angela bassett oh yes and kimberly elise oh yes absolutely and yeah. cicely tyson mm -hmm. those are my ultimates right so do you find yourself sometime looking for roles such as what you've seen them playing and you know trying to yes um i i'm I'm always going for the roles that is gonna make a difference mm -hmm. in the world. I feel like as entertainers, we have a responsibility, right. you know? And so I always go for those heartfelt awareness, super drama pieces, <laughs> you know, all the time. I try anyway. Right, now, so you said the movie in which I met you was your very first film. Mm -hmm. Were you nervous? How did you feel in that um, film? I was nervous. Um, because honestly, I didn't know. I took a little bit of TV and film, mm -hmm. but as far as cheating the camera and stuff like that, I learned everything on that movie. So I appreciate uh, Keith for that. Well, you are a natural. I looked at some of your YouTube clips, and it's just amazing to speak with you now and see your bubbly personality, <laughs> and then to see you just burst into tears and all dramatic and everything. <laughs> How do you prepare for that? I mean, what mindset do you have to go into to you know to take on something like that? You know, at one point, having a lot of obstacles and trials and tribulations in my life, um, I never knew what it was all for, but now I know that it was for me to identify with the characters I play, mm -hmm. as well as be able to identify with other people who go through the things that I've been through. So um, I just dig in deep to some personal experience I've mm -hmm. been through, or I put myself there as if I'm going through it. and. And I pray. Yeah. <laughs> it changes things, though. It, it changes you, too. Absolutely. <laughs> so what, what would you say right now was your most memorable, memorable role? The most. Oh, um, my most memorable role, um, I would say, was uh, in Watch Phoenix Rise okay. when I played Sasha. Um, she was so lost, so hurt. 
um, she was a mess. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. And it was it was a trip for me to play somebody that malicious. Mm -hmm. So I I actually enjoyed playing it because it really made me dig deep. I just found out that I'm going to also be working on a film called Ending the Chase, um, being filmed in Atlanta with Miss Cookie Bloodsaw. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think I've seen you, you're posting that you were flying to Atlanta. I said, this lady is all over the place <laughs> on business. I love it. I love Thank it. You. So <laughs> we mentioned earlier Michael Sean Cunningham. Yeah. Big ups to you, Michael. Um, you have a film that's coming out that's going to be a yes. premiere on Wednesday. Let's yep. talk about that. Um, I'm going to be playing Vicky in the movie titled The Shop, yes. and I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, Vicky is really kind of close to who I am, <laughs> so that, that's the first character where I'm kind of a little bit of myself, but not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm excited about that premiere. Yeah, Michael, he was on the show, too, and uh, great producer. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, um, I have another film coming up with him, which is titled Mark Still. Wow. And we will be filming that uh, start pre-production towards the end of this year. Okay. So what role are you going to be playing in that? I will be playing Pauletta Watkins. Oh, I like the White name. White collar criminal. <laughs> oh, She's really? a bad chick. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so I understand that you're also, I mean, not only are you an actress, you're mm -hmm. an advocate for lupus. Yes. Let's yes. talk about that. Uh, well, uh, back in 2007, I had a, a flare up, I guess is what they call it. Uh, for months, they didn't know what was wrong with me. Um, lost a lot of weight, was really sick. Mm -hmm. And then diagnosis came back with lupus. Um, so I fought, you know, I pray like yes. I never prayed before just asking for the blood to cleanse me yes. and to heal me and when I went back to the specialist my ANA sedimentation rate everything is back to normal and I have not had a serious flare in that manner in a year and a half oh. so I have my little things here and there mm -hmm. they're trying to diagnose me with other things but I truly believe that um, with lupus and any autoimmune disease mm -hmm. that if you change your diet and start incorporating antioxidants and just exercising and cutting out all that processed food mm -hmm. um, you know you're gonna eat you yes. know but make healthy choices have some whipped cream strawberries and whipped cream you know mm -hmm. that you know it works and so that's that's where I'm at <laughs> wow. You know what? Um, I think I mentioned to you that we have a new, I've started a new women's group yeah. called Sister Sewing Seeds. Hmm. And I would love for you to come out and speak to the ladies and yes. tell them about your career as an actress and, mm -hmm. and all the things that you're, you stand for. I Thank think you. that we talked about this too, about women promoting self empowerment, yes. you know, promoting one another. I Absolutely. think that that is a lacking, um, I don't want to say ingredient because we're not talking about food, but a lack, <laughs> a lacking factor in today's society. Yes, you know, yes. I support you, my sister. Thank I you. I see that you're really moving, you're progressing, and I want you to be successful. Thank you. You know, and I wish you nothing but the best in what you're doing. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. And same to you. I really appreciate <laughs> it because, unfortunately, there's just a lot of people who either, A, they want to befriend you because they think it's going to help them and they really have no true friendship to yes. you. You know what I mean? And it, it's a tough game. Yeah, so yes. when I do find good women mm -hmm. like yourself Thank and you. my besties, I hold on to them Absolutely. and I treat them with respect and I show true loyalty. Yes. You know, because good friends, which more is like family, mm -hmm. is really hard to come it is. by. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is. But yeah. we're going to change that. We are. <laughs> yes. We're going to change that. Start now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I listen to you speak. You have like this kind of little raspiness in your, your voice. And and I'm reading your, your resume and I see that you sing too. Yeah. Mm, okay, let's talk about that. Oh, I have my gospel R&B. Oh, yeah. Gospel R&B EP mm -hmm. uh, coming out this year, 2013. We're looking for a July or August release. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I really hate to put you on the spot, but oh, uh, come on. Just one little <laughs> note. You can give me a little something, Jonas. I know it. You can do it. Covered in the blood of Jesus. Covered in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear because I am covered in the blood of Jesus. I love it. That's beautiful. Thank you. So, where, where, you said you're coming out in 2013? 
the yep, this okay, year. Nice, yep. nice. And who are you working with on that? I'm working with Eric Bryant, um, Mahaga with HHK Records, mm -hmm. and he is uh, one of the producers. Actually, really, I'm only working with him because he's just really, really talented, and I write my own music, and he's able to go in and produce the track around my nice. cadence, melody, and lyrics. So I just, I love that guy. <laughs> he's uh -huh. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I know you're a mother. And I, I know you have a beautiful daughter. I've seen yeah. pictures of her. Very Thank beautiful. You. Actress, producer. Well, let me see. Casting producer, right? Casting director. Director. Yeah. yeah. And a singer. What do you do? What do you do in your downtime? What are you, how do you find time for yourself? And when you do, <laughs> what do you do? How do you relax? Unwind? You know what? This is what's so funny. I really don't get much downtime because in my downtime, like I use that to spend more time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. So we do, I guess you could call it fun. Like we go for walks, we do picnics, we do beauty day, you know, all that little stuff like that. And I try to sneak in a little bit of time for my husband, you know, <laughs> you know. a little bit of time, <laughs> but yeah, they're both spoiled. Yeah. And, um, I just, I used to love to read all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I used to read like a book in three days, but now I have my scripts. Right. So that that need has been fulfilled right. and just writing music, you know? Nice. Man. Nice. But I also want to acknowledge my husband. Um, I wouldn't be able to move around as much if it wasn't for his support. Mm -hmm. So I thank you. <laughs> so you also a designer now. We're women with curves, <laughs> so I hope that you're making stuff that fit all of this. Yes, you know? yes, absolutely. <laughs> I am not discriminating against my own kind, okay? So let's um, talk about that. When did you, when well, is your uh, line gonna come out? Well, Divinity JC Square, mm -hmm. um, that's the name of it. Um, I should be launching that um, fall okay. this year because what I'm gonna do is um, one of the t-shirts that's on the line is going to be incorporated with one of my singles. Oh, nice. So it's still a secret. Okay. <laughs> What's the name of your clothing line again? Uh, Divinity JC Square. Wow, very yeah. nice. Can Thank we talk you. about that? How did you come up with that name? Um, well, I came up with the name because I wanted women to feel empowered. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you know, I love the Lord, you know, because I honestly, I wouldn't have anything or be anywhere if he wouldn't have saved my life, mm -hmm. just period. Um, so Divinity, I want Wanted people to feel to feel that God-like character, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily a god, a goddess, but God-like character. Right. So that's where the divinity part came from. And then a JC Square is my name, Jonas Kane and Jesus Christ. So then you have JC Square. <laughs> I have a lot of young viewers watching the show, and uh, there's a lot of young ladies that are probably looking up to, looking for someone to look up to, positive. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a role model? Um, I, I do. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because I, I'm cautious. Um, when I first started, I had blinders on, mm -hmm. but as I became more aware, um, it's really important to, to, to handle yourself properly. People are watching, right. young women are watching. And that's what I tell my young women who I mentor in my acting um, coach classes. I teach them to sell your talent, not yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? And I you know, that. just to have morals and, and standards, you know? And as an actress, you know, there are roles that may not show us in the best light. Mm -hmm. But as long as at the end of the day for me, as long as there's a lesson learned, you can say, oh, I don't want to be like that. Or you can see the consequences of what happens from living a foul life. Um, I'm good with that. Yes. And so that's kind of like how I operate and choose my projects. Well said. I love that. Thank you. So what can we expect from you? What, what else is coming out from you? Oh, you know, the CD, the clothing line, the movies. You know, I'm just really just trying to stay positive and right. stay focused because it seems like the, the, more, the more I climb, the harder the work is. But... You know, you get a lot of um, negative feedback, but I have tons of positive people in my corner. Oh, and right. I appreciate all of you guys. Feral Pal, Black Pearl Entertainment, Ramunda, um, just everybody, you know who you are. Right. Tanya Windham. Tanya Winham, a very beautiful woman yes, of God. I had yes. the opportunity to meet her on Facebook. I look forward to working with her as yes. well. Let's talk about her for a minute. Um, I could say in one word, she is a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, she's the, actually the reason I started back acting again. <laughs> um, I wrote some music for her for her stage play from the novel that she turned into uh, to a stage play. And uh, 
the person who was playing my character of Kathy um, had some sort of emergency and three weeks before the show wasn't able to do it. And she said, Trinez, I know you used to act. Can you do this? And I was so scared, but all the love came flooding back. Mm -hmm. So to this day, I love her. We constantly work together. Um, she's doing great things in the community, the Hope Awards. Yes. Um, I host that annually for her every year. And then she just signed on to do the celebrity basketball yes. game. Very nice. Yes, yeah. yes, with Mr. Terry Moore. So mm -hmm. that's great. Um, I should be emceeing or interviewing. I'm not exactly sure how she's going to utilize me, but she knows she has my support. Absolutely. So I say to all you people out there, mm -hmm. make sure that you are involved in these right. community things. We need you. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. So is there, you know, women empowerment. I yes. know there's some strong women in your bloodline that you've met that's helped you. Tanya's mm -hmm. one that you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Anyone else you want to recognize at this time? Um, my mother, my grandmother, and all the women in my family, New Day Ministries, um, took me through some of the hardest times when I was introduced to some things in entertainment that were very um, unflattering and uh, not godlike. And uh, they took me under my wing, under their wing, and they just pushed me. You know, just just empowered me. And so I love everybody in that organization. Yes. yes. Well, Janice, I just want to say to you again, and I cannot say it enough. I'm so glad that I met you. Thank you. You have the same beautiful spirit that you had from day one when I met you. Thank you. And um, I just wish you nothing but the best. I believe that there are great things that are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And I know God is going to bless you tremendously. Stay focused. Don't ever change. I know I don't have to tell this woman that, but <laughs> I just feel compelled to say this to you. No. And you have my support 100 percent thank 100%. you Ramonda. i really yes, appreciate definitely. it you might not feel like you have to tell me but sometimes you do yeah because sometimes a lot of things go on and it makes you feel like i don't want to be nice to nobody anymore mm -hmm. i don't want to help people no more right. look how people treat me when i do right. um so i thank you for saying You're that welcome. because it, it encourages me right. to 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 keep being who i am right. and to not give up on that that light, that love that's in my heart. Yeah, well, the Thank women you, that's a part of the business, <laughs> Latanya Smith and Dale Williams, you know, that's what we're about. Yeah. That's definitely what we're about. So I appreciate you stopping by. You're so busy. I look forward to the clothes because I, <laughs> I can't wait to wear some jeans that really fit me. Are you gonna make jeans too, or is what? You know what? I haven't I haven't even gotten that far okay. yet, but I am. Yeah. I have some some fantastic ideas. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of boutiques mm -hmm. um, here in the Bay Area that are on my side and yeah. and want to help see this come to light. Yeah. So it's it's some great things yeah. going on. Thank well, I'm you, Rashida looking into doing Noble. that too. I'm looking to get into the clothing thing too, so right. we can compliment one another. <laughs> Sisters doing it together, you okay. know. So, any other special acknowledgement before we wrap up this wonderful interview today? Um, I just want to give a shout out to Black Pearl Entertainment, who does my PR, and they're my consultants, and you know they help me out, keep me focused as well. Wonderful. Well, you stay fabulous. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by the Ramonda Show. <laughs> We look forward to having you here again. <laughs> Don't forget about us. Well, should we get your autograph now or should we wait till? Um, you're gonna always oh, the be carpet. around. <laughs> you're always gonna be around now. If you wanna sell that autograph on eBay, we can talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm Ramonda Cotrere on The Ramonda Show with actress Janez Kane. Thank you.